In this tutorial, I am going to show you how you can install software packages using Anaconda or Conda if you say it that way. And so for this tutorial, the only requirement is to have Anaconda installed on your PC. Instructions for installing Anaconda are available in the description box. Once you are done, you open your terminal. Now, before we install the softwares, we also need to make sure we have channels okay we need to add channels so channels serve as repositories where softwares are made available so specifying the channel will let anaconda or conda know where to get the software download and then install it for you so for this tutorial we are going to use two channels here as examples so we'll use conda for it and we are also going to use bioconda so let's add them to add a channel we say conda config add channels and then we specify the channel name so let's start with conda forge so we have it done let's add a second channel which is bioconda so the same command but this time we specify a different channel name which is bioconda in this case so we have it done so once you have it, you can even check if these channels have been added so we can see conda config show channels so this command will list the channels you have added to your pc so we have them here the default channel comes packaged with conda so we leave it as it is so now we are ready to rule. so let's look at the methods or the approaches we are going to use for this exercise so let's clear the screen first now let's look at the first method the first method is where we create an environment and we install the packages later and so this is how we do so for this method let's look at how we do it we will first create our environment so let's use an example here so let's say conda creates dash n and then we give the environment name so let's let's say my env this is my environment name okay so let's put it this way so once you have this done you just run this command so this will create the environment for you so you'll be asked to confirm this activity so you type y for yes and then conda will create the environment for you so we have it done let's just list you can also list the environment you have on your pc so you can see conda and lists so this will list all environments you have so notice this is what we added okay so that's what we have here and so once you have this done you can install the packages in it anytime that you have free. so let's say we've done this we want to install packages you do it you can either activate the environment and install the packages or you can install and also specify the name of the environment so let's look at the two um, approaches for this particular method so you can say conda activates my env and then once you have it this way you can install the package so let's install one package so let's say conda install and then you give the package name. so let's say some tools and there's a bioinformatics time so i'll just start with a bioinformatics software so we have it this way and so once you have it this way conda will now get the software and install it for you of course you will need to confirm so we just wait and then confirm so let's wait and see how it goes and so you need to confirm the activity by typing y and so you have it this way there is another approach where you can use without specifying this but that's something we'll look at later so just type y and then confirm so conda will download the packages and all the dependencies for you and then install them so that's one good thing about conda okay so the software has been installed let's play the screen so if you do let's just type some tools that's what we installed you will see that it has executed nicely for us so that means the software installation was a success now with conda you can install more than one software at a time i mean you can install multiple softwares um, on the same line so let's just say we want to install 
two more software you can just say conda install so let's say bwa let's say python let's install this too you can do that also here so once you type this command it will install it for you so let's do that and if you don't want the confirmation which came you can issue this command quite so here what will happen is that conda will install the tools without asking you for confirmation so let me introduce you to that as well so let's run this command okay uh, it seems the dash dash quiet flag did not work to my expectation but anyway that's fine so we just proceed so um, you can forget about that option let's just proceed so let's just type y and then let's see how it goes so we we'll wait while Squanda downloads and install the software packages for us okay so the tools have been installed so we can proceed with the exercise so let's just clear the screen and let's just type bwa so let's just confirm so we have it there as well so if we type python 2 it should give you perfect so the installations were successful let's quit python and continue Yeah, so this is uh, one way uh, that you can use to install um, software packages in Conda by creating the environment first and then installing the tools later. Now, what we did was to create the environment and then activate the environment and then install the tools in it. But you don't necessarily need to activate the environments before you can install tools and software in that very environment so let's look at another example here still under method one so let's deactivate this environment first let's say conda deactivates yes perfect so once you have this you can still install tools and software into that same environment so now let's let's try another thing here so let's just say we want to install another tool which is bcf tools in that same my environment we can say conda install and you say dash n so here you specify the name of the environment which you have already created which is my env and then you specify the tools and software so let's say bcf tools like this this the tool you want to install so we just run this and then conda will still install in that same environment for you so let's wait and then just get conda do the installation for us okay so we just type y to confirm and then conda will download the packages and install for us so here we are installing bcf tools perfect so that is also done here and so once it's done if you want to run bcf2 so if you want to run the software you install you can just activate the environment back and then you can run the tool so let's say bcf tools and so that is also done nicely for us so this is how we do it and so we are done with method one now let's clear the screen and go to method two now let's look at method two in method two we create a conda environment and we install the packages in that environment simultaneously and so let me show you how it's done we already know how to create an environment and we know how to install packages so we combine them in this method so we say conda creates dash n and we give the environment name so this time let's use a different thing so let's just say my n2 let's use this name and then we specify the tools and software you want to install here so let's say python and then let's say bcf tools again and then let's just say 
some tools again so here you put them here and so once you have them like this you just run this command and so you notice that we have the command for creating and we also specify the tools or softwares we want to install here okay perfect so now we can type y to confirm and then we let Quanda download and install the packages. Now you should also know that if the packages have already been downloaded, then Quanda will just ask for confirmation and then use the packages which have been downloaded already. And that is why here we don't see Quanda downloading any packages or we don't see any download progress because these packages already exist in um the, they already exist on the PC, so they have already been downloaded, and so that is why Quanda will just go straight and then install them. So now we have the installation, then we have the environment also created. Let's clear the screen and then let's just list. So let's say Quanda env lists. So this will list the environment for us. So you notice we have the environment we just created here. So here, let's activate it. Now we know that, so we can say Conda activates my env2. And so once you have it like this, just type some tools and you have it also done for us. Okay, so we have the tools already installed in that environment. And so which is very, very cool. And so far as Conda, Consent. So this makes things easy for you when you are installing tools and packages. So now let's deactivate. We are done with method two. Let's deactivate and then go to method three. So we say conda deactivates, and then let's move on to method three. So method three is also cool, and I I prefer to use method three if I have lots of packages to install. Now let's look at the third method. The third method, we install the packages and we also create the environment using what you call the environments.yaml file. So this environment file is a text file that has information that Conda will use to install the packages for you. And so you can just read more about this method here. I will leave the link to this page in the description box. Now, this is how a typical environment file looks like. So you have the name of the environment here, you have the channels here, and you have the dependencies. The dependencies are the packages you want to install. So this is how it is. Now, let's look at how we can create it. So this is just a text file, so you can use any text editor to create. So let's just look at how we can do it here. So here i will just say name which is the name of the environment i will give a colon and i'll give a space character and then i'll type the name of the environment that i want to create here the next line is the channel so i say channels and then i give a colon then i move to the next line where i specify the channels i want to install so a space character dash a space again and we type the channel name since we have two channels we do it like this and then you give the dependencies it should be in a new line you give a colon you move to the next line space dash space and then you give your dependencies so you can even specify the version of software you want install so let's say python 3.8 you can even install python packages like this and i have a separate tutorial that goes into details with installing python and r packages so i'll leave those videos in the description box i mean the links so you can just get there to um, check them out and i'll also leave some links to um, example files, example environment files that you can also use in case you want to use them without typing. So that's how it is. So that's how we do it. Now, if you are on a command line, you can also open any text editor and then just 
create them there so i'll just show that as well since i am working in a linux environment so let me just see menu environment dot yaml and then i'll just paste the information here so this is how it is done and then i'll just save it and then i'll just check if it's there so i have it there so once you have it this way and you have the file ready you say conda env create and you say dash f and then you specify the name of the file and then you run this command so you run this and then conda will start working it out for you okay so that has also been done for us so once it's done you can just activate but let's just list first so let's say conda env list to list the environment to check so we have it here so i'll just activate i'll say conda activate bioinformatics and here i can just type my some tools which is there I can also type Python and even import the package you install as BioPython. So I'll say from Bio import IO just to import it. So everything has been done nicely for us. So let's clear the screen. Let's quit first and then let's clear the screen okay so once you are done you can just deactivate your environments and then we do it okay so that's how we do it. so here you've learned three different methods for installing packages in, in Conda. so you can just use that to install all tools that you need so uh, that'll be all for this tutorial and let me also repeat that i have other tutorials on anaconda you can just watch and then just learn more about how to use them so thanks for watching this video and i'll see you in the next session goodbye